Debate on the Prescription Scotland Bill at Stage 1. The next item of business is consideration of motion 12943 in the name of Clare Hockey on the Standards, Procedures and Public Appointments Committee's fifth report, 2018, complaint against Mark MacDonald, MSP. And I call on Patrick Harvey to speak to and move the motion on behalf of the Standards, Procedures and Public Appointments Committee. Thank you, Presiding Officer. The Standards, Procedures and Public Appointments Committee has considered and reported on a complaint from James Dornan, MSP, about Mark MacDonald, MSP. The complaint related to the conduct of Mark MacDonald toward a member of James Dornan's staff. In examining the information relating to the complaint, the Commissioner was made aware of Mark MacDonald's conduct toward another staff member and decided that this was relevant to the complaint under investigation. The Commissioner invested the complaint and concluded that Mark MacDonald failed to treat one staff member with respect and that his conduct to her, toward her involved sexual harassment, and that he also failed to treat a second staff member with respect, and that both behaviours were in breach of the Code of Conduct for members of the Scottish Parliament. The Committee's deliberations are set out in the Committee's report, and the details of the investigation by the Commissioner for Ethical Standards in Public Life in Scotland can be found in the report's annexes. The committee unanimously endorsed the Commissioner's conclusions and we consider that the breaches justify the imposition of sanctions on Mark MacDonald. The committee looked at the full range of sanctions available to the Parliament and agreed that any sanctions should send a clear signal about the seriousness of Mark MacDonald's conduct but should not have a financial impact on his staff nor unduly impact his ability to represent his constituents. Before I move the motion on behalf of the committee, I would also like to comment on the confidentiality requirements in the complaints process, which are a requirement of the Code of Conduct for MSPs. We previously expressed our disappointment that details of the complaint were shared with the media by James Dornan, MSP. To make matters worse, following the Commissioner's investigation and before the report had been distributed to the committee, it appears that its findings have been shared with the media. We consider it unacceptable that the confidentiality requirements have been flouted more than once during the course of this complaint. This is disrespectful to the process, to the staff members involved, as well as to the committee and to Parliament. Proper processes must be observed in order to ensure a robust outcome. The Commissioner and this committee must be able to carry out their work without external interference. The committee intends to look into these breaches of confidentiality in due course. In conclusion, presiding officer, the committee recommends that Parliament excludes Mark MacDonald from proceedings of the Parliament for a period of one month to take place from 3rd of September to 2nd of October 2018 inclusive, withdraws his salary for a period of one month to coincide with his exclusion from the proceedings of Parliament, withdraws his right of access as a member to the Holyrood Parliamentary Complex for a period of one month to coincide with his exclusion from the proceedings of Parliament, and withdraws his rights to any representational, ceremonial and related privileges until dissolution. I move the motion on behalf of the committee. Thank you very much, Mr Harvey. And the question on this motion will be put at decision time. The next item of business is consideration of motion 12953 in the name of Andy Whiteman on witness expenses. And I call on Andy Whiteman to move the motion on behalf of the parliamentary, Scottish Parliamentary Corporate Body. Thank you very much, Presiding Officer. Uh, today, the Scottish Parliamentary Corporate Body invites the Parliament to agree to a revised witness expenses scheme. The Corporate Body has oversight of the scheme which is administered by the Committee Office. The Witness Expenses Scheme was agreed by the Parliament in 2000 and its focus at that time was on witnesses giving evidence during proceedings of the Parliament under the Scotland Act and Standing Orders. The Commission on Parliamentary Reform has led to a renewed focus on strengthening the Parliament's public engagement and drawing evidence from a wider range of people. To support this, the Committee Office has conducted the first review of the Witness Expenses Scheme since it was introduced in 2000. The revised scheme seeks to achieve two aims. First, to make the scheme more accessible to those who need it, and second, to strengthen the financial processes that underpin the scheme. 
The revised scheme introduces a set of underlying principles and rules to clarify the purpose of paying expenses to witnesses. These emphasise that expenses are primarily for those who would otherwise find it difficult to participate. The rules will be set out clearly for claimants and will be based on a set of principles which include inclusivity, accessibility, honesty, objectivity and sustainability. Significantly, the proposed changes also include what can be claimed by carers and for carers, as well as enabling claims for hiring video conferencing facilities. Other changes focus on strengthening the financial processes that underpin the scheme. The approvals process will be streamlined so that once a committee has agreed to hear from a particular witness, the authority to approve individual claims will lie with the group head of committees and outreach, who will also be able to set a threshold for expenses above which claimants will need to obtain prior approval. The corporate body will monitor the introduction of the revised scheme to ensure that it is working as intended. I move the motion in my name. Thank you very much. And the question on this motion will also be put at decision time. The next item of business is consideration of four business motions. Motion 12985, setting out a business programme, and motions 12987 to 12989 on stage one timetables. I would ask any member who wishes to speak against this motion, these motions to say so now, and I call on Joe Fitzpatrick on behalf of the Parliamentary Bureau to move the motions. Moved on block. Thank you very much. And no member objects, therefore the question is that motions 12985, 12987, 12988 and 12989 be agreed. Are we all agreed? Yes. We are agreed. The next item is consideration of three Parliamentary Bureau motions. Can I ask Joe Fitzpatrick on behalf of the Bureau to move motions 12990 to 12992? Moved together. Thank you very much. So we turn to decision time. Oh, point of order, Mr Findlay. President officer, yesterday at five o'clock, uh, when the media's focus was on the reshuffle, NHS Lothian released on their website the latest report into the manipulation of waiting times in Lothian. This was a damning report highlighting a cu culture of bullying of staff, unacceptable uh, uh, manipulation of waiting times, poor governance, and much, much more, all impacting on patient care. Can you advise if the government have asked to make a statement tomorrow on this very important report that many constituents are waiting on because they don't want to see this uh, as being buried in a day of trying to bury bad news whilst a reshuffle has been going on? Thank you, Mr Finlay. Um, as Mr Finlay will be aware, he's made his point now, but he can bring these matters up through uh, his business manager, who is perfectly at liberty to uh, bring that to the attention of the Bureau at any time. Now we turn to decision time. There are four questions to be put as a result of today's business. The first question is that motion 12958 in the name of Annabel Ewing on the Prescription Scotland Bill be agreed. Are we all agreed? Yes. We are agreed. The next question is that motion 12943 in the name of Claire Hockey on complaint against Mark MacDonald, MSP, be agreed. Are we all agreed? Yes. We're not agreed. We'll move to a division. Members may cast their votes now. The result of the vote on motion 12943 in the name of Clare Hockey is yes 101, no 0 and there were 6 abstentions. The motion is therefore agreed. The next question is that motion 12953 in the name of Andy Whiteman on witness expenses be agreed. Are we all agreed? Yes. We are agreed. And I propose to ask a single question on three parliamentary bureau motions. Does anyone object? No good. The question is that motions 12990 to 12992 be agreed. Are we all agreed? Yes. We are agreed. And that concludes decision time. We'll move on now to members' business in the name of Ash Denham uh, on NHS at 70. We'll just take a few moments, however, for members and ministers to change seats. <laughs> 